Hello everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is x squared divided by 81. This is equal to 81 over x squared. So what is the value of x given that x is not equal to 0? So let's prevent the solution from here. So we have x squared over 81. This is equal to 81 over x squared. The first step here is to cross multiply so that now we have x to the power of 2 times x to the power of 2. This is equal to 81 times 81. The next step is that we can express 81 as 9 to the power of 2. So substituting this, we have x to the power of 2 times x to the power of 2. This is equal to 9 to the power of 2 times 9 to the power of 2. The next step is that x to the power of 2 times x to the power of 2. And 9 to the power of 2 and 9 to the power of 2. This is in the form of a to the power of n times a to the power of m, which you can express as a to the power of n plus m. Applying this exponent property from here, then we have x to the power of 2 plus 2. This is equal to 9 raised to the power of 2 plus 2. So we have x to the power of 4. This is equal to 9 raised to the power of 4. The next step is to take 9 to the power of 4 on the left hand side. So that now we have x to the power of 4 minus 9 to the power of 4. This is equal to 0. We can express x to the power of 4 as x to the power of 2 raised to power 2. This is minus 9 to the power of 4, which is the same thing as 9 to the power of 2 raised to power 2. This is equal to 0. This equation is in the form of a squared minus b squared, which is the difference of two perfect squares, which you can express as a plus b, a minus b. Applying this identity from here, then we have x squared plus 9 squared, and then we have x squared minus 9 squared. This is equal to 0. So we have two parts here. The first part is x squared plus 9 squared. This is equal to 0. And the second part is x squared minus 9 squared. This is equal to 0. So let's solve these two parts. Now let's start with the first part here, which we can call case 1. In case 1, we have x squared plus 9 squared. This is equal to 0. This equation is in the form of a squared plus b squared, which we can express as a plus bi. And then here, a minus bi. So here we have x plus 9i. And then here we have x minus 9i. This is equal to 0. So again, we have two parts here. We have x plus 9i. This is equal to 0. And we have x minus 9i. This is equal to 0. So we have from the first part here, x1 is equal to minus 9i, and x2 from here, this is equal to 9i. Let's proceed to case 2 from here. In case 2, we have x squared minus 9 squared, this is equal to 0. This equation is in the form of a squared minus b squared, which you can express as a plus b a minus b. From this equation here, we have x plus 9, x minus 9, this is equal to 0. So we have two parts here. The first part is x plus 9, this is equal to 0. And the second part here, we have x minus 9, this is equal to 0. So we have x3, this is equal to minus 9, and we have that x4, this is equal to 9. So the next step from here is to verify. Now, we have four solutions to begin with. We have four solutions from here. 
that is x1 is equal to minus 9i, x2 is equal to 9i, then we have x3, this is equal to minus 9, then x4 is equal to 9. So these are the four solutions that we have. So the next step from here is to verify that this four set of solutions or this solution satisfies the equation as follows. Now let's verify that these four solutions satisfies the equation. Now if you recall, we have that x squared divided by 81. This is equal to 81 over x squared. Let's start with x1 which is minus. x1 is minus 9i. So here we have minus 9i raised to the power of 2 divided by 81. This is equal to 81 divided by minus 9i raised to the power of 2. So here we have minus 9 squared. This is equal to 81 times i squared divided by 81. This is equal to 81 divided by 81 i squared. Remember, i squared in this case is minus 1. So let's substitute minus 1 here. So we have 81 times minus 1 over 81. This is equal to 81 over 81 times minus 1. So let's simplify here so that now we have minus 1 is equal to minus 1. The left hand side is equal to the right hand side. And this verifies that x1, which is minus 9i, satisfies the equation. Let's check x2, which is equal to 9i from here. So we have 9i raised to the power of 2 divided by 81. This is equal to 81 over 9i raised to the power of 2. So 9 squared here, this is 81 times i squared divided by 81. This is equal to 81 over 81 times i squared. And remember i squared, this is minus 1. So therefore from here, we have 81 times minus 1 over 81. This is equal to 81 over 81 times minus 1. If we simplify here, then we have minus 1 is equal to minus 1. So the left hand side is equal to the right add side from here. So that implies that x2 satisfies the equation. Let's check x3 from here. Now let's check x3 which is minus 9. So we have minus 9 raised to the power of 2 over 81. This is equal to 81 over minus 9 raised to the power of 2. So minus 9 raised to the power of 2, this is 81 over 81. This is equal to 81 over minus 9 squared. This is again 81. So if you simplify here, this is 1 and also this is 1. So we have that 1 is equal to 1. So the left hand side is equal to the right add side. And this verifies that x3 which is minus 9 satisfies the equation. Let's check x4 which is equal to 9 from here. Substituting this to the equation, this implies we have 9 squared over 81. This is equal to 81 over 9 squared. 9 squared, this is 81 over 81. This is equal to 81 over 9 squared, which is 81. So if you simplify here, by 81, by 81, this is 1. By 81, by 81, this is 1. So we have that 1 is equal to 1. So the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this implies that x4, which is equal to 9, also satisfies the equation. And therefore, this implies that the 4 
solutions here satisfies the equation. So kindly follow the steps. Like this video and subscribe. Like this video and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye bye.